Yes, what's going on people? I'm Steve-O the Madman and I'm here in sunny Bordeaux where as you can see it's buzzing because the Wales fans are in town they've got a game against Slovakia I'm going to soak up the atmosphere speak to a few of the fans head down to the JD store as well as show you the real Bordeaux well, the Bordeaux they don't show you in the brochures While I've got you here and while you've all tried to nutmeg me, I think it's only right I'm allowed to speak to you. Who is your favourite player to come from Bordeaux? Do you know any players from Bordeaux? From Bordeaux? Yeah. I've got my favourite player. I want to know who your favourite player is. No one believes me when I say my favourite player, they're like, really? Shamak. Shamak, yeah, but no, he's, he's in England now. Did, did Zidane play for Bordeaux? No, yes. Yeah, but, uh, yes. Shamak's better. No. Uh, huh? Anybody is better is than, than Zidane. No one's better, you mean? <laughs> Zidane? Okay. I liked his hair. Shamak's hair it was good, didn't it? Do you like Shamak's hair? Yeah. You got the same sort of hair as Shamak. Yeah, but Zidane with, without hair, he's, he's better. still done it, didn't he? <laughs> so, we all know what Bordeaux is good for sun, art, fine wine. But I'm going to tell you a few things you didn't know. This is Steve-O's guide to Bordeaux. I bet you didn't know this. The electricity in Bordeaux comes out the plugs at 220 volts. Hmm. That's a lot, right? Hello. Did you know that the time in Bordeaux is GMT plus one? That's mad. That's like a whole hour in front of London. Did you know that Bordeaux isn't only a beautiful city in France, it's also a food and wine store in Gloucestershire. How about that? And by the way, that's where I thought I was going, eh? <sighs> beautiful, beautiful. Did you know that the population of Bordeaux is 230,600? Did you know that? Well, you didn't need to know it because it's lies. Because it didn't account for me and this lot. It's lies. There's obviously more people here. Are you excited? Oh, buzzing. Can't wait. Can't, Can't wait. wait. That's the first question I always ask them. Are you excited? Because this is probably going to be their only tournament ever. <laughs> I'm only playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I, I love Wales. Are you excited about being there or what? We can't wait. We cannot wait. We travelled from Canada three days ago to get here. We've been travelling for three days straight. First time in a major tournament that we've actually qualified for. Not by default, like Sweden. And we're here to watch it. Oh, buzzing, absolutely buzzing for the game today. Hopefully pick up uh, three points. England do the business as well, that more or less sends us through. I respect that because not many Wales fans have wanted England to do well as well, so I appreciate that. Surely everyone wants the home nations to do well, don't they? Score predictions? Oh, it's 3 0 Wales. Gareth Bale, Attrick probably. He's the only player with like, star quality, but build a team around him, that's what I do. Ramsey? He's half decent, but his hair is shocking, so. Mate, I was going to say that, but you've got the same hair. What do you think of um, Aaron Ramsey's hair? He could have done a little bit better, but he rocks, he rocks everything. We'll do that, we'll support the decision, it's not bad. I was thinking of doing it myself. What do you think of Ramsey's hair? Awful. Excellent. Excellent. Excellent! Do you like his hair? Yeah, clean off. He likes his hair. I don't like his hair personally, but he makes it work. My mum thinks I look like a, a player from this tournament. Who do you think she thinks I look like? That's a tough one. What player do you think she thinks I look like. Oh, it's a bit of Gareth Bale about you. Pogba? What is that for? Oh, Robson Carney. Blaise Matweedy. What player do you think it is? Well, you think Ash Williams. At the tournament or on Wales? At this tournament. Oh, okay. I have no idea. Do you know Ben Oh my god! Yeah, you know you know. It's the gap, right? It's the gap. So that's it. I've showed you the Wales fans. I've showed you a bit of Bordeaux. Well, how I see Bordeaux. I hope you've learned something. I know I have. 
We're going to catch up with the Wales fans again in this segment, but yeah, it's au revoir for now. 